Renegade TV, where you get your fix on how to fix a Renegade. All right, guys. So I got the winch on the mount, not bolted down yet. About to do that. Then I got the fair lead on. Um, with the Daystar winch, it's, let's see where they are. You can't use these lock washers because the metal right here is too thick. For the metal to get here, there's still a little bit of space. Uh, I feel like it should be fine. I don't think it'll be too bad. But these are really sturdy. It's, it's really nice, actually, quite built. I was thinking about painting this red, but I decided against it. I did paint the hook red, but the hook's not down here yet. I'm just using the rubber band to hold this cable still because this wants to untwine itself really badly. Um, but these nuts, these square ones, are gonna go down into here and on all four of the actual corners. So there's there and there in the front and then in the back as well. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back. I got those four in, a little bit easier said than done. Uh, next step is you're gonna to wanna to get a 14 millimeter socket and you're gonna put the lock washer inside this bolt that comes with the assembly. It is a, I believe this is I think the 3 is a 8 instead of a 5 on toughness. And back this out. And you got the four bolts under here, 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 and here. I got these pushed forward all the way. And you're just going to put it in the hole. And you're just going to feed it through. And down here, you can see it's maybe, maybe you can see it. It's feeding itself in through the hole. No, oh, it's trying to. It's. Oh wait, did I get it? Okay, I got it all the way to where the lock nut is. Okay, and then you're gonna get your wrench, socket, and you're just gonna tighten it down. And I will actually get a torque wrench, and I will tighten them down later on to whatever the spe spe specifications are inside the paper. And let me get these and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so now I got the torque wrench after I got all four of those fastened down. And kind of a word of advice, I highly recommend when you do these four bolts that you just loosely put them all on until you get them all in there aligned and then tighten them down. That should be probably standard practice anyways. And I'm going to use the torque wrench and do 65 pounds of torque on all four of the bolts. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so next we're going to fish the cables through. You use a little coat hanger and you'll put it through there and you'll tape these ends together. And you'll just pull it straight through out to this side over here at first. I'll tell you when to stop. Okay, okay. All right, now let's get in the position for the next stage. We're going to show you how to move it from here through this grill out through here over to the battery. Okay, guys. So. Here's your main power cable, and here is your negative. We ran them straight through here in the middle, down the bottom in here, into this portion. Then we went down here, there's a little hole down here, okay? This little hole will take you right up into here, which will take you straight up into the engine bay, which, if you use a coat hanger, will drag you all the way down to here. See, that's where you entered from? And you'll then very carefully drag the cable all the way up to here and you'll hook your black up to your negative, which is here, and your red one up to your positive, which is here. All right, guys, so I got the power connected. Right here at the negative, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter. And you're just gonna hook it directly up, and I'd highly recommend zip tying this up to like the windshield wiper fluid or something. You don't want any cables flopping around, and the same goes for down there as well in the grill. And then your main power on the red, you're gonna hook it up here. That's gonna be a half inch socket right here, and you wanna hook it up to the back. It's gonna be hard, but you just need to pull the cable through that way when you put your actual cover back on, all the cables and everything will be running straight out the back and you can actually put your cover on nicely. There you go. And that's the installation of power for the winch. And all you have to do is plug in your thing, pull her out and crank her up. All right guys, here's a demonstration of it. You gotta have your vehicle on of course to make it work for power. And Looks like a charm. All right guys, so here it is, the final product. 
get the testing and installation all done. I uh, just wanted to do a little roundabout. Painted the hook red. It's scraping off. I'm gonna get the worn, basically heavy duty hook. It's like $70 for like the super, super strong one. I think it's like 18,000 pounds. Uh, gonna keep this on here, just like this, I guess, for now. Um, it looks really nice. It functions great. I love it. I went ahead and zip tied all these cables back here up to the negative lead to keep them out of the way. So when you're going down the road, it's got this really clean flush look to it, sorta. And got the zip tied down inside too, as well inside the engine bay. And I just want to say thanks to everybody who's been supporting me and watching these videos throughout the production of them. And it really means a lot to have y'all actually care to watch this stuff. And I hope they're really helpful for y'all. And like always, like and subscribe for future videos and yeah stay tuned for more there's a lot more to come this way i promise you that thanks bye